All right, welcome back to season two of our show. Today we're showing you just a quick chili for chili dogs. Let's get it on. So what you're gonna need is some ground meat. So right here I have about two pounds of ground meat. I got a diced up onion, that's about a half onion. I got some bell pepper, some fresh garlic, and over here I have jalapeno. Right here we have some crushed up tomatoes and we just pureed them down a little bit with our hands and some red beans. Let's show you how to get this on. So we're gonna get our onions in and our peppers. Now the reason why I'm putting them in the food processor is because this is chili. And it's chili dogs that we're making this for to go on chili dogs, chips, tortillas. So it's a different type of chili than the chili that we're used to, like a hearty eating chili. And this one is just basically going to be topped off. You can go on chili burgers and you could do a lot with this chili. But you don't want it lumpy. So we're showing you how to not get it lumpy. This is kind of where you want to be. I'm going to feel this out, judge it out. I think I want a little bit more onion. And I think I'll just use all of it. Why not? All right, let's get that in. And off to the side, this stuff goes. And with your beans, those are red beans, red kidney beans. Now what they're gonna do is they're gonna help thicken the sauce. And over here we have tomato sauce. So in with our tomato sauce we go. Just like that. And we're gonna use the same bowl to get it out. All right, there we have it. Not gonna put any spices in, and we're just gonna start this on low. about the consistency we're looking for. Nice and chunky and hearty. In we go. All right. Now that's the first half of this. We're gonna season our meat. In two seconds, we'll meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so we got our mixture done, and that's our base, and we're just gonna work on seasoning up this meat. So what you're gonna need is some cumin powder, onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, and kosher salt. So I'm gonna start with the salt first. Cuban powder, good douse. This is all to taste. I'm not measuring out anything. If you don't like cumin powder, you can leave it out but it definitely goes into this mix. Onion powder. Good douse of that. A lot of people won't season their, their meat and you have to season the meat and you have to season the pot. And then afterwards, this is garlic powder, good douse of that. And after that, you can taste the pot as you go along. And this is paprika. This is gonna give that nice dark color because our sauce is a little bit on the pink side, so we're gonna darken it up with some paprika and some flavor. So we're gonna do that, and then we're gonna start to mix our meat. Now, with chili, for the hot dogs, you just wanna make it just minced. So you don't wanna, this was hamburger meat, you don't wanna mix it like this. If you were making hamburgers, you don't wanna mix the heck out of it. But with chili, you want to just get it mixed really good. And you just want to squeeze it and mix it and squeeze it and mix it. You don't really want to see any hamburger 
grains inside here like it came out of the grinder. So you just want to get it minced up like minced meat. And just keep mixing. Now I'm starting off here with just a little bit of seasoning, a little bit of salt to taste, and I'm just going to season the pot as I go along because I can't taste raw meat. And that's what we're doing. We're just kneading it like dough. Just knead the heck out of it. This, like I said, again, if this was hamburger meat, you would never do this if you were using this for hamburgers. Now, meat on the stick, you could do that. Like if you were uh, doing like a, uh, a Persian dish or a Turkish dish, you could put the meat on the stick and you can mince it just like this. And just mince it down and get it mushy. And that's what we're looking for, that little mushy consistency. Just keep mixing until you get that that mushiness. That looks about right. And here we go. I'm just kneading it just like dough. All right, and that's what you're looking for, like that, where it's just mushed down. So now we're going to get this onto the stove, and we're going to combine all of our ingredients. So stick around. Don't go anywhere. All right, so onto the stove with our meat we go. So we've got olive oil in this pan, and I'm using a little olive oil just to get this started. Now I have my blower off, so I didn't really heat it up that much, because I want you guys to hear me. And I'm just gonna put them in pieces just like this. Now if you put it in in just one chunk like that, then you gotta jam it around and just a pain. So what we're gonna do is just cook them in batches like this and break them up. And you wanna get them crisp because that's what your flavor is. Otherwise it's gonna not have that flavor and it's just gonna taste like raw meat in a sauce. So I'm just breaking them up. You guys can smell this, it smells great. And like I said, you definitely want to season your meat. Because if you don't season your meat, you're not going to make a good chili dog chili. Now we're going to cook everything in this. I'm using a shallow pan today, which is almost like a pot. And that's what you want. You want it to go shallow with it because you're not going to make a lot of this. Like I said, this is not an eating chili. This just goes over top of uh, your chili dog or your dog. And this can go over top of things like tortillas, stuff like that. So this is why you want to make it in this fashion. I'm going to stir it around and get it brown now. It's important that you brown it up right so you get that flavor out of it. And you just cook it good and cook out all the oil in it. Now this meat I'm using today is a 72% lean meat. It's nice and fatty. That's what you want. You want it nice and fatty. It's fat as flavor. If you use a lean meat, it's gonna taste dry. You gotta have a dry chili, and you're not gonna have that flavor. Now what we'll do is we're gonna cook this down and that sauce that we made, we're gonna add it to this and just stir everything in. Just like that. So we're gonna let this cook down and we'll meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. So we're starting to cook this down, starting to get to where we want it. And while we're doing it, we're just mashing this hamburger meat down. And we want to just basically crush it down to nothing. That consistency over here, that's what we want it. Let's turn this blower off so you can hear me. That's what we want it, that consistency just like that. So we're just gonna have to chop all this up. And as we're cooking it, we're just mashing as we go along. Just like that. 
almost like the same type of meat that you will find in like a, uh, a taco. And you can actually use it in there too. So we're going to just keep motion this down and cooking it down, motion it down and cooking it down. And then we're going to meet you back here when we hit our consistency that we want and we hit our doneness. And like I said, at the same time, you want to brown this off, which is starting to brown. All right, let's get to mashing this and we'll meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. Okay, so now we got it browned down. This is the consistency we want. And we're gonna go in with that mixture. I'm gonna use all of it. And I'm gonna start mixing. Now, that's not the color we're looking for, we're aiming for right now because it looks pink, right? So what we'll do is we're gonna use a little bit of uh, tomato paste to not only thicken this up, but we're gonna see where we are with our consistency. So we might use a little chicken stock and some tomato paste just to get that color and flavor in here that we're looking for. But it's coming together, it's starting to look like a chili. So just mix it in. And then what we'll do is we'll put the lid on it. We're gonna let it cook down and let some of that water release. And the onions and the peppers that were in there, they're gonna release some water. As you can see it happening already. And then we're gonna see where we're at. And then we're gonna thicken with the paste and maybe add a little bit of chicken stock in here or beef stock, whatever I have on hand. All right. We're gonna put this on low, get the lid on here, and we're gonna meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. All right, so at this point, we're gonna see where we are. We're only about 10 minutes in. Well, from start to finish, it should take about a half hour to make this. Very quick, fast, easy dish. Now we're getting nice and dark in there. Now what we'll do is we'll give this just a taste. and see where we're at, see what we need. Now, we're gonna need every ingredient that I use to put in the hamburger meat. So we're gonna start with some cumin powder. This is why I say you don't wanna overdo it. So season the meat first, then go in with your seasonings later. This is onion powder. I'm going to taste. Put a good douse in there. This time I'm using a little ground mustard, not much, just a touch. And then garlic powder. And now I'm gonna see where we are. So I'm just gonna give it a quick stir. And what I'll do is because it's still a little bit on the pink side. I'm gonna add a little chicken broth to this. Just a little bit. And then I'm gonna add some tomato paste to this. This will bring in the flavor, darkness, and it's also gonna thicken it. And that's what you want. And then you'll just stir it in, just in that one spot, just like that. And then you'll just start to incorporate it into the rest, like that. All right, so I'm gonna get to mixing this, just like that. I'm gonna put the lid on it. I'm gonna cook it down just a little bit more and then we should be about ready. I'll meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. All right, we're on the last straw here. So, look at that. That's why you wanna cook this down. Total cooking time, 30 minutes. You can even let it go longer if you like. Now, we're making this to go on jelly dogs 
for tomorrow. So what I usually do is cook this in advance like I just showed you guys how to do it. And we're going on chili dogs with this and we're going to have some dip for tortillas for game time. That's going to be that. All right. We're going to get situated and meet you right back here. Don't go anywhere. All right. There it is. Chili for chili dogs and a lot more. And if you like this video and more videos that are about to come, please don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe. And don't forget to hit that bell. This way you get all the notifications first. And if you want to see this video, we're going to leave a link in the description of this on top of a jelly dog. Until next time.